Hello and welcome to Games with Hank. I'm Hank and today the game is Kerbal Space Program. I have some things to show you. Some things I've been working on. <laughs> this is the beginning of my Screw Loose series. Uh, and the goal of the Screw Loose series was to create an Archimedes screw based helicopter that would actually fly. So an Archimedes screw, well let's just talk about what screws are first. Screws are basically, so yeah, you know what an inclined plane is? Uh, it, it allows you to transfer motion in this direction to motion in two directions, both up and down. Um, now, a, a screw is an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. So when you stick a screw into the wall and you start screwing it in, that rotational motion gets uh, transferred into motion pulling the screw, pulling or pushing, the screw into the wall. It actually, uh, depending on the bite of the screw, uh, you can have this uh, magnify your mechanical energy of the turning of the screw uh, into being able to drive it into wood, which you would not normally be able to do just by poking at something. Like, you can't just, like, push a nail into a piece of wood, but you can screw a screw into a piece of wood, and that is due to the marvels of simple machines and engineering. Uh, and so, uh, you've seen the Da Vinci helicopter. The, da Vin the goal of the, of the Da Vinci helicopter was to basically screw its way into the air. And so, this was my first attempt at building basically a rocket-powered Da Vinci's helicopter in Kerbal Space Program. And we're gonna see how that does. Now, the idea here is that instead of biting into the wood, the inclined plane on the outside of this, uh, of this aircraft, I guess you would say, will bite into the atmosphere. Now, these are solid rocket boosters, so I can't crank them up. I just have to push the button and watch them go. And you'll see here that, uh, that interesting aerodynamic things are happening, but uh, it is not getting lift. Uh, so it is not coming off the ground, but there, there, is, there is some lift, because otherwise it would just be falling right over. Uh, and it just basically spins like a top, which is why I saved this one of all the ones that I built. And I was like, look at that, it's spinning like a top. And I did not expect that to be a thing that would happen, um, but it never, actually, uh, it never actually lifts off. And then uh, remarkably enough, Matt Barry Kerman is just very dizzy and fine at the end of the process. So that was screw loose attempt one. We're gonna revert to the vehicle assembly and uh, load up screw loose attempt number two, which, uh, oh, something happened. All right, well, we're gonna load up number three because I don't know what happened to number two, or I guess we're gonna load up number four. So number four has got, uh, so basically you will see here, I, I lost a couple of designs, um, unfortunate that that happened because uh, this design, wait, come on, really? There was a, there was a hilarious, there's this one that had it. Maybe this, maybe it's this one, is it this one? Nope. <laughs> Just loading up random things. Let's, let's launch this one. I don't know what it is. I did name this one gyro boop. Apparently there was a reason why I saved it. There's gotta be a reason why I saved it. So let's see what it does. Who knows? Uh, I mean, obviously this is not gonna work. Uh, I'm just gonna, it's gonna tear itself apart instantaneously. There it goes, tore itself apart, uh, and then exploded. Uh, let's, let's, let's try that, let's try that again, and, uh, we're gonna, and, oh, I didn't mean to do that. And we're gonna, uh, rev the, rev it up a bit, and see if we can, see if we can make something more interesting than that happen. You never know, in Kerbal Space Program. How instantaneously can I rip the wings off of this thing? Pretty instantaneously. But then this bit, this is why I saved this one, actually just flies. It's like, well, this is a really interesting way to build a rocket. Uh, I, I should have throttled down, because now Matt Berry's in trouble. This is not gonna end well for Matt Berry, but we're not gonna watch it happen. That's just gonna happen in the background. Screw loose two, 45 parts it says. Where are the 45? Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, we got it. Here it is. Um, so we got some aerospike liquid fuel engines on the bottom here. I never, I didn't add wheels to the bottom of this one because you don't, who, who needs them? And I tried to just sort of uh, give it a little more stability and a little more height uh, to see if that would help. It didn't. Uh, spoiler. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and launch this thing and see what happens. I push the button. Yes. 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 Power it up. Power it up. All right. Oh yeah! <laughs> I love it! What the frick is this? That's not what I wanted to have happen, you guys! Oh god. This is power down. How, how far can I power down before this thing actually starts to run into the ground? I think it just pop- I think it's bouncing off the ground now. It's just rolling. It's rolling off the- oh, there we go. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, ho, wee! All right, now push it. Push it now, push it now, push it now. Oh, bouncing. Woo, uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, keep trying. Keep trying. Uh-oh, not the gas tanks. They're brubble now. Whoa, and they exploded. I don't know why they disappeared before they exploded, but they did. And it did. And that's it. That, that's what happened with that one. So, um... I, uh, ooh, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fire. So I realized, uh, I actually thought for a while that this wasn't gonna work, which is hilarious looking back because, of course, this is so janky and there's no space and the, the wings don't bite enough and the lifting surfaces are tiny. So, um, so what I needed to do, uh, so basically at this point I could increase the thrust, so the, the amount of spin, uh, which eventually, with enough spin, this would get lift. Or I could increase the amount of lifting surfaces, or I could increase the amount of lift each lifting surface has. So basically, with the next version, I did all of those things. Uh, so let's load up Screw Loose 4 here. And see, so, here we go. We've got, uh, we've increased the lift, the, uh, the, lift, the amount of lifting surface, uh, we've, in, we've increased the amount of, it's like much prettier, it looks actually much more like Da Vinci's helicopter. I've increased the thrust by pulling the engines out from the body of the craft. Um, I've added wheels so that it's a little less, has a little less trouble getting off the ground, uh, and it's not sort of bouncing around with all the friction there. And, uh, and I've added more, uh, more lift surface by adding a lot more wings. And I've also increased the bite that each wing has. Uh, and so the, uh, instead of going around twice, it goes around once, and, uh, that, that shouldn't matter too much, so we're gonna launch here. Um, and I'm pretty sure that this spoiler will not work. Uh, but I wanted to show you the whole process. So here we go, much prettier. Uh, we're gonna throttle down, uh, throttle down before we launch. So that we can see a little bit of this thing in motion, and you can see that this is indeed, you know, screwing the atmosphere. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, and so we're gonna try and throttle up slowly to see if we can get enough lift without this thing. So screwing the atmosphere really hard now. We're screwing the atmosphere so hard. It's now we are at maximum and uh, and, and it's just gonna tear itself apart and uh, And indeed my Kerbal is going to die. So that is sad um, Matt Matt Berry was killed. Matt Berry Kerman was killed. Uh, so that's sad. We had a lot of thrust, a lot of spin. We had, I mean, it looked very much like it was screwing itself into the atmosphere. So at this point, what we can do is try and make the craft lighter, uh, which I didn't do, uh, but maybe that would help. Or we can try and increase the lifting surfaces again. So right now we only have one blade. Uh, and what I ended up doing, and let's get that loaded up here is adding another blade to the exterior of this craft so that now uh, not not out to the uh, not like on the edges like I've been doing with the helicopteropodes but um, but a flatter uh, surround so that I could add some more lifting surface without having to add a ton more uh, blades so I only had to add like half as many blades as the first round um, I also pulled the engines out from the body a little bit more and added a lot of struts so it wouldn't pull itself apart um, and yeah we're gonna see how this works now we are going to I think for real this time screw ourselves into the atmosphere it's gonna be great I mean it looks a little less impressive because it looks you know it looks you know, it's more more blades, less screwing, but it does look a lot like Da Vinci's helicopter looked. Um, and I wish I had sort of like, uh, you know, this took me, I don't want to talk about how long I worked on this, but uh, but basically um, I could have walked you through the entire pro, I could have like been with you the entire process and it would have been more exciting to be like, will it lift off? Will it, I bet it won't. I bet I'm just gonna give up after this one, which I probably, I was ready to give up, uh, but uh, but now you know that this thing is actually capable of lifting off, and hopefully I'm not wrong about that. All right, here we go. Um, it actually shouldn't take much. So you can see this thing grabbing the air, screwing itself into the air a little bit. Uh, let's see, right when we get in the moment of liftoff. Has not happened yet. There it goes, guys. There it goes! We have liftoff! And I can actually power this guy down, and he'll land just fine. Um, which is pretty great. Uh, but... Oh, I've given myself, by bouncing there, I gave myself a little bit of wobble, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. 
And then I can uh, just I can just power down a little bit and like just hover. I can totally just hover in space. Uh, and then I can power up and get see how much uh, oh the wobble uh, that I introduced through that bounce is not great. Oh, but I didn't expect. Oh, don't land on your head. Oh, you landed right on your head. Oh, that's sad. Okay, let's revert to launch here. Ah, oh, I hit the space center button. Ah, oh, there was very clearly a button that said revert to launch, and I didn't click it. All right, going back to the launch. I want to do that not with the wobbling, because that was in introducing all kinds of instability that was bad for for my final screw loose design here. Um, yeah, let's just launch with regular thrust. Uh, we're gonna take off pretty instantaneously there. I'm gonna try and throttle up a little bit. It still has some wobble that I I don't know what's, I mean, I guess I do know what's introducing that. It's the fact that these winglets are not in any way, uh, you know, symmetrically positioned. But yeah, we've now got a, we're going five meters per second right now. I'm gonna try and power down and land the screw loose five, the final final version of the screw loose, which uh, yeah is an Archimedes screw based rocket powered aircraft that um, is based on Da Vinci's design for the first design of a helicopter, um, as far as I know. So this is uh, indeed uh, a, he <laughs> a helicopter of sorts, and I'm gonna try and uh, yeah. I'm just gonna sit here for a while while this uh, this decides to slow down and uh, head down to the to the ground. I I hopefully will not run out of fuel before I get there. Oh man, this is so hard. <sighs> okay, well that's not great. <laughs> I mean, let's just touch down on this fiery fireball. All right, no worries. Fiery fireball it is. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna call that a success. Okay. Oh, you're still rolling, huh? Well, it would have worked if there hadn't been that explosion. All right, we have settled into a stable position. That, my friends, is the epic story of the Screw Loose Five. Patented by Bartfus Kerbin, who has managed to survive one of the most treacherous and uh, peculiar space flights, or just not even space, not even trying for space, just air travel flights of all time. Now I'm going to turn the engines back on, see what happens. Woo! Not a lot. We ran out of gas really fast. All right, don't, don't explode, Bartfus. Don't explode. Oh, thank God, that was. Whew, good thing we built those things sturdy here on the planet Kerbal. Thank you for watching this episode of Games with Hank. I've been Hank of the Game. has been Kerbal Space Program. Flying my little helicopters is my favorite thing. Let's let Bartfist get out of the, the crew capsule here. Hey, Bartfist, where are you? EVA. Yeah, walk around. You're upside down. Yay! Bartfist is fine. I am fine. I am the most successful Kerbin in the history of the planet Kerbal. I just spun like a thousand miles an hour. But you can't mess with me. I'm a planet tier. I go to planets. I'm a planet. Planets. What? I go to planets far. But mostly planets nearby, which I mean planets here. Here on Kerbal. Okay. Well, that was a good ending. The FTBA. <laughs>